Once again, ladies and gentlemen, this contest are brought to you by Jat Life, scheduled for three three minute rounds in the amateur lightweight division. Over to your referee. Oh, well, ladies and gentlemen, the action continues continues on here. Fight Star Championships number 24, our Birmingham debut. This is an amateur lightweight contest. Robert Elliott fighting out of the blue corner of the black shorts trimmed with white and red, representing Kabashi MMA as he takes on Cuba Lester's Tyrese Richards, six and two record. Yeah, watch out for the striking of Richards. Very good background in boxing. Robert Elliott though looks strong for the weight class and an almost uncanny resemblance to Hugh Jackman's Wolverine. <laughs> It's giving me Wolverine mixed with Forrest Griffin vibes. Yeah. <laughs> All right, into the into side control here for Yeah, beautiful tag Richards. down there from Richards. Just lifting him up and... Plenty of time to work as well. Dropping him onto the canvas as though he was, as though he was nothing. <laughs> Looking to try and capture the head was Elliot there. Oh, but straight into the man. Yeah. Really and, nice work and here from Richards. He's... It's going to be hard to move from there. Yeah, I mean, this is a really tough spot for, uh, for Elliot there. Yeah, they're dry, they're fresh. And those hammer fists are starting to Ooh, come in. I mean, taking a lot on the arms, but yeah, that's how many of those do you want to take? Absolutely. Nice work from uh, Elliot there, just controlling that posture. Oh, looking to try and turn, is he going to? No. He had the decision, the frying pan or the fire. <laughs> Stayed in the frying pan there. Yeah, Richards has got some submission wins on his record as well. Head and arm choke. And gotta funnily from, enough. <laughs> got to watch that from this position. Big shout out to Elliot as well. Oh, there we Stepping in on short notice for his fight. But Elliot's oh, going to reverse the position. And nice one, and he's under the chin. Kenny, is he going to... Not quite. He's going to have to... I think Richards was panicked for, for, for a, a moment, moment there. Elliot's going to have to pull that guard or he's going yeah, to slip right out into a bad position. Yeah, he's in the half guard position at the moment. It's You're not going to finish a, uh, a choke from this position, but I mean, it's certainly a better position than he was in first. Absolutely, seconds, and it's going to keep Tyrese Richards honest. But Richards, I mean, he just steps over the... I mean, just steps over his man like there's no defense. They're on to the back now. Yeah. Elliot rolls again. Yeah, also oh, also has a rear naked choke victory on yeah, his record. He's, he's looking to sink it in. This is very dangerous. On the position. back, got the hooks in, but just wants to make sure he doesn't ride up too high. And yeah, just softening Elliot up there with a couple of right hands to the side of the ear. Yeah, 20 seconds left to work. And those were more than softening ones. Yeah. <laughs> but Robert Elliott could could survive here. Oh, oh, oh. there's a choke in tight. Looks like it's under the neck, but I can't see. Ten seconds to go. Oh, he's squeezing. He's on Richards. He could go out here. I can't see the... No, nice one there from He's going to escape out the back door, I think. There's no oh, hooks in. Just sees it out, but oh, good Lord. That was close. Tyrese <laughs> with Richards came close there. Elliot just a big puff of the cheeks and back to his corner. He looks super calm. For Absolutely. Someone who, someone who nearly got finished there at the end of that first round. Nah, he was fine. No, look at him. Nah, nothing to worry about, coach. <laughs> I had it. A good first round from... Tyrese Richards. Yeah, really good first round. I mean, as I say, he's got a, uh, he's got a very good striking background, but we didn't really see much no. in the first round. He showing off his uh, his grappling and what looked to be the superior grappling. Yeah, he, I mean, it looked like he was threatening, looking for that arm and triangle, or head and arm triangle, but Elliot, wise to that, managed to prove position, but it didn't take long for Tyrese Richards again to find his back, and man, had there been much more time on the clock, who knows? Yeah, I think giving up the hooks as well in that position was uh, possibly what saved Elliot. You can't get as much kind of squeeze and bend into that choke and stretching out your opponent as you'd like if you haven't got those hooks in. But we're here to see a round two well, in this lightweight two. contest. Here we go, Robert Elliott again, the Kabashi MMA man. Want to know he's in the black shorts with white and red trim as he takes on Tyrese Richards, the Cuba Lester man in the black armor shorts. And Elliot comes the, out swinging there. I mean, he, said he, won the, he won his debut via TKO, but 
Okay, lovely. Got under the hips, just elevated him up and deposited him neatly to the canvas. Did Richards there? And t again, time to work. I tell you, he really, uh, he really looks to get into that mount very quickly, Ooh. doesn't he, Richards? When he uh, when him. he gets into this top position, take side control here now and see, see if we go straight to neon belly. Yeah, there you go. Look, waste no time. No, just whatsoever. slides over. And, and, and Elliot has no no answer for it. No. If you can uh, if you can find a weakness in your opponent's but game and you can find a path of least resistance. It's all good and well to say, well, he's landing on my forearms. You can't just lay there and let that happen. And he looks strong, does Robert Elliott. Like, but Tyrese Richards just wise to it. Just peels him away again and starts to land. Peels him away again. Yeah, this is... Uh, and you just keep working this over and over and over again. This is a nasty position. I think Elliot's going to have to give up his back. Well, that's the choice, isn't it? Again, it's the frying pan or the fire. And right now, he's kind of hovering somewhere between both. Yeah, he's got a bit of respite here as he's just got the, the head trapped of Richards. But, yeah, I mean, but he's not going to be Richards able to hold sneaks, that for another minute No, and then Richards and right seconds. on your back. And those hammer fists won't help either. Yeah, again, it's just kind of that schoolyard headlock, isn't it? Oh, oh! Nice work there from Elliot, but once well, again, yeah, no. Richards decided, I no, I, I, I want this back, and just was able to take it. And again, just these, he's not wasting, not wasting the energy, not throwing hundreds of shots, just chipping away, taking the round, and this has got to be 10-8. Yeah, this is, this is, it's got to be close to. Uh, has to be close yeah, to a 10-8. Yeah, has eight. to be close to a 10-8. I mean, and all he's, he's doing is turtling up now. to close to a finish as well. Mother Head is saying to them, uh, saying to Elliot, yeah. he's got to get out of this position. He's going to step in any minute here, Yeah, I think. one of the best in the business, and he's letting the man, def again, giving him every opportunity. Him every opportunity. But this could be a nice bit of work here from Elliot, getting his back up against the fence. That could save him in this, uh, this second round. I think Dan Mother Head, he was close to stepping in there. I think so, too. But, yeah, he did a good job there of Elliot. No quitting him whatsoever to get his back yep. up against the fence. But he's got to try and get out of this format. Yeah, position. Richards just... Oh, lovely left hand got through there. And again, and again. Yeah, I think we might see round three unless there's a real big flurry from no, Richards. No, we'll, we'll see the third round here. I'm sure that a word will be had in the corner for Elliot saying you've you got to be a little more active, got to do a little more. Yeah, and, and, and he gave it the uh, he gave it the tape down in the first place by being overly aggressive in his yeah. striking. I mean, obviously he knows he's going to be uh, he's going to be down two rounds in this position, and he knows he's going to have to get a finish. But you can't be you can't be too aggressive. You can't come just winging those punches no. because Richards has clearly got a good fight IQ. He just ducks underneath that right hand, level changes, takes him down, and as soon as he uh, as soon as he gets the fight to the mat, it's like a, a hot knife through. Yeah, he, he straight just... into the mat each and every time. And again, as we said, referee Demo had, had to be looking closely there. Yeah, there weren't massive strikes. There was just an accumulation of, of heavy enough strikes. And if you can't get out of that mount position, I mean, you can't just take endless strikes no. in, that, in that position. Although they weren't, as we mentioned in that round, they weren't 100%. Some on the arms, yeah, some on the gloves, but, but you've got to, enough got through. Yeah, you've got to get out of that position. And, but Elliot's looking tired here as well. As I said, he stepped in on a few days' notice. So big props to Robert Elliott as well. 1-0 going up against a much more experienced... Yeah, absolutely. ...eight-fight eight amateur veteran yeah. in, uh, in Tyrese Richards. And seeing the, uh, the final stanza of this three-round fight as well. But a few <laughs> grimaces and deep breaths from the, uh, from the corner there of the Kabashi MMA guy. Oh! oh big right hand. That right Richards. hand set the tone and woke up. Robert Elliott, who bit on his gum shield and just threw back. But now, sort of. I mean, that, that was, yeah, I mean, that's a great chin. He just kind of, he just yeah, sort of like all right. opened the eyes and went, yeah, okay, then we, we, we fight. Oh, we're in a fight, are we? <laughs> but now, Tyrese Richards, top position, time to work. Elliott trying to get his back to the cage. Yeah, it's really hard when you when you're tired. I mean, I don't know how how deep into a camp or anything Elliot was for these fighters. I say stepping in on less than a week's notice. I mean, he looks in phenomenal. Oh, he looks but, a great neck. But yeah, but 
obviously you don't know if he was kind of in that fighting. Gets 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 the knees underneath him, back a, against the great, cage, yeah, and, and gets up, job. but straight away underneath those hips and dumps him down into the side control here now. Yeah, great work there from Richards, just using his left knee as the uh, as the added tool to get that takedown. Just again, we we're going to see neon belly, and is he just going to? slice himself up no yeah. just step over this step time straight over yeah that's that's where the issue has been yeah. i think uh i think elliot when he goes away and looks at the elliot at the trying footage to of this fight he'll, he'll see that he was too he was just yeah. too easy to to get the fight to the mat in the first place and and for tyrese richards to to get into this full mount position which obviously many argue is the the most most dangerous position you can be in on the uh, on the mats Unless well, you've got your back all of your, yeah, you've got all of your oh, options, don't you? Yeah, but on the oh, back, hook in now. Up. If you can slip that head out from underneath the right arm, it's coming. He ain't gonna be up oh, there. It is, and now yeah. this could be a long minute for Robert Elliott. Yeah, he's got to try and use that right leg there to. Oh, Good, nice fantastic! Was that a just a little bit of an error by Richards and Elliot capitalized? Yeah, huge moment here for oh, him. Oh, steps over. Foremost, but Richards is going to reverse the position. Got to watch out for that single turn. The yeah. Corner oh, Richards. beautiful scramble from Tyrese Richards there. Oh, but inverted triangle. Attempt. No. Inverted triangle attempt from him. No. Surely not. No, nah, he's going to pop that head yeah, out. He hasn't, he hasn't got the arm in position either. We've seen this as well, the scissors choke off. Just got to pop that head I've out. I've seen this finished once yeah. ever the whole time I've been watching mixed martial arts and was that Robert Elliott's moment there to to pull make, the win from the jaws of defeat. Make a little bit of UK MMA history there. <laughs> that would have been absolutely phenomenal. But Richards has done well just to get back into that dominant position again, slow things down, no time left. What a great fight. Yeah, absolutely. Props to both of these guys. Ro Robert Elliott, again, as you say, stepping in on short notice against an opponent with, what, seven, eight more fight experience than you comes in and doesn't just make up, doesn't just make up the numbers. Yeah, it'd be interesting to see, obviously I mentioned Richards has got a really good striking background, really good striking pedigree. It'd be interested to see whether Elliot thought this was going to be a striking contest and hence why Richards has used his, uh, his grappling and, um, and yeah, it almost looked like it took Elliot by surprise, the, uh, the rest of it. The it was also, stages. whenever they went to the mat, whenever they went to the mat, it just seemed that when Tyrese Richards wanted to improve position, he just could whenever yeah. he wanted. Yeah. And it doesn't matter how game you are, you cannot spend the majority of a fight being fully mounted. Absolutely. Great contest, though. Absolutely. Props to both these guys. Robert Elliott got out of some really dangerous positions. It would have been very easy for him to just wilt there and, and, and allow Dom, Dam overheaded to, to step in and, and stop the fight, especially in that second round, but constantly kept working. Trying well, to ladies and gentlemen, and after three fantastic rounds of action, we go to the cage side judges where they score this contest. 30-27, 30-27 and 30-27. All in favor of your winner by unanimous decision in red corner, Tyrese Richards. Once again, giving a shout out to our sponsor, that lightweight contest. Jack Life.